Good morning. Today we're looking at section 4, Computer Differentiation, out of chapter 4, Symbolic Differentiation, out of Business Calculus with Excel. We will note that there are free websites that do symbolic differentiation. It's useful for complicated problems. It's also useful when you're learning to do step-by-step -step guidance on how to do drill work. We'll find our sites with a simple Google search. Three sites that will come up off the top are Wolfram Alpha, Symbol Lab, and the Derivative Cal Calculator. You need to pay for a membership for Wolfram Alpha and Symbol Lab at this point to see step-by-step -step the Derivative Calculator still works. We'll need to be careful with the variables used because most of these sites only allow one-letter variables. As is normal practice, I won't, I'll follow the structure of the text but not the example. So we're looking at differentiation involving computer algebra. The first thing to do is simply go to Google and look for derivative calculator. It, the top three are the ones that we'll look at. Derivative calculator symbol lab, Wolfram Alpha, and calculator with steps. If I take the derivative calculator from Wolfram Alpha and type a reasonably complicated function like x cubed, plus 4x squared plus 7 to the third power times 1.06 to the 3x plus 5 times the natural log of x squared plus 8. This is more complicated than we'd see, but I simply hit enter, and the site Wolfram Alpha is going to produce an answer for me. I'm going to stall while it computes, and it gives the answer. So the input, alternate forms of the input, The derivative is given, along with lots of other things. Wolfram Alpha will do almost everything. I find its answers aren't specific enough. So that was just an input. Let's ask it for the derivative of And so it gives the derivative. You can ask for a step-by-step -step solution. And it says you need to go pro, which means you need to pay the money for the full solution. I'm going to symbol lab and do a similar thing. Tell it to go. It's got a place for derivatives. I stall. It computes out the derivative. Once again, to show steps, I'm going to have to pay for it. So I'm going to go this time to my derivative calculator, type in my favorite function that I've used before, say go. It tells me what the input is. I always want to check to see if the input is what I thought I was inputting. And it's done some rearranging of the 3x plus 5 into something else. It will, however, do the step-by-step. -step. And when we do the step-by-step, -step, it's particularly nice. In that at each step, it says which rule we're applying and color codes it as to how the things show up. So the derivative of a product is going to be the derivative of the first piece times the second plus the first piece times the derivative of the second. And we hover over and color code how it takes each derivative in turn and keeps breaking down the steps. Now, if I start with something more manageable, 
I'm going to pick a simpler thing, tell it to find the derivative for me. And it will tell me what the derivative is. But for this class, the important thing is to show steps. And we have a derivative. And notice it says I'm going to apply the quotient rule. Now to get from that to the next step, I'm breaking this up into a chain rule. And I'm going to do this as an addition rule. Here I have a derivative of a polynomial, I have a derivative of a constant, I have the derivative of the polynomial I'm going to break up again, the derivative of monomials. Then from this step to the next step, I'm just simplifying, making things like 0 go away, and 4 times 2 is 8. So it simplifies it, checks the result, this could be done in other formats, depending on whether or not we want to have just one fraction or two. So this is a good thing to have available. Um, the warnings of it, one is that you only are allowed one letter variable names. So if I want quantity, as my variable, I'm going to tell it to go. Variable x, if it's not your intent, choose correct differentiation. So I'm going to cancel, look at my options, and notice I'm only allowed one letter options. So I can have different variables if I want, but I could have q as my derivative but this thinks quantity is q times u times a times n times t times i times t times y. And so for differentiating, it's now pulled that and um, quantity has been rewritten, uh, t squares, and it thinks each letter is a separate variable. So that's just something to be careful of. But in general, it's good to know about the derivative calculator. It is a good thing for doing drill work. Thank you.